Chapter 8 More About Scratch Chapter Surf Components of Scratch 3.0 Window Understanding the Sprite Understanding the Stage Understanding the Blocks Making a Project Scratch is a block-based visual programming language. It is developed by the Lifelong Kindergarten Group at the MIT. It is one of the easiest programming language using which you can create your own games, stories and animated images. As you know, a computer follows stepwise instructions to do any task. In Scratch, you can drag and drop the blocks in serial order. The basic principle of Scratch is Imagine, Program and Share. Components of Scratch 3.0 Window The Scratch window has the following components. Each object in Scratch which is programmed to animate is called a sprite. The Scratch Cat is the default sprite in Scratch. You can change or add a new sprite. Stage The area where the sprite moves and performs actions is known as the stage. A scratch project actually runs here. Green flag button This button is used to run a scratch project. Stop button This button is used to stop the project running at the time. Backdrop Backdrop is the background of the stage in Scratch. Using Backdrop, you can change the visual look of the stage area. Code tab The Code tab contains the blocks palette and the scripts area. The scripts code area is where the code for a project is created by placing one or more code blocks together. The Blocks palette contains various blocks grouped under different color-coded categories. Motion, Looks, Sound, Events, Control, Sensing, Operators, Variables and My Blocks. Costumes tab The Costumes tab displays a list of costumes for a selected sprite and various buttons to add new costumes for a sprite. It also displays the paint editor where you can edit an existing costume or create a new costume. Sounds tab The Sounds tab displays a list of sounds for a sprite and provides buttons to add more sounds. It also displays the sound editor where you can play and edit a selected sound. Zoom buttons You can use the zoom buttons that appear on the bottom right side of the scripts area to zoom in out the scripts area. The plus button zooms the pane in. The minus button zooms the pane out. The equals button resets the zoom level to 100%, which is the default value. Understanding the Sprite Every project in Scratch contains at least one sprite. Sprites can be programmed to perform actions and be animated. Let us learn more about working with sprites. Sprite Info Pane the Sprite Info Pane, located below the stage, displays detailed information about the sprites in a project. It displays the thumbnails of all the sprites in the project. As you click a sprite on the stage or its thumbnail in the list, its information is displayed in the pane. The Sprite text box displays the name of the sprite. You can click in the box and type a new name for the sprite. The X and Y text boxes indicate 
the position of the sprite on the stage. You can click on Show button or Hide button to display the sprite or make it hidden on the stage. The Size box lets you specify a size for the sprite, while the Direction box lets you specify the orientation of the sprite. The Choose a Sprite button lets you add new sprites to a project. Adding New Sprite A project in Scratch always starts with one sprite, the cat. You can add more sprites to a project anytime. The Choose a Sprite button present in the bottom right corner of the Sprite info pane provides four options to add more sprites in a project. The various options available for adding a new sprite are Choose a sprite. This option lets you choose a sprite from the library of sprites in built-in Scratch. The sprites are grouped under categories such as animals, people, sports, etc. Select any sprite from the library and it will be added to the stage. Paint. This option lets you draw new sprite. When clicked, it opens the Paint Editor window under the Costumes tab. You can use the tools provided to draw a sprite. The drawn sprite is added to the stage. Surprise! This option adds a random sprite from the sprite library to the stage. Upload Sprite this option lets you upload a picture file from your computer as a new sprite. When clicked, it opens the Open dialog box that lets you choose an image to upload. The uploaded image gets added to the stage as a sprite. Deleting a sprite You can delete a sprite that is no longer needed in a project. To delete a sprite, click on the Delete button on the thumbnail of the sprite in the Sprite Info pane. Or right-click on the thumbnail of the sprite and click Delete from the pop-up menu. Example Let us understand with the help of an example. In this example, we will add a ladybug sprite in the place of Cat Sprite. Step 1. Open the Scratch window and delete the Cat Sprite. Step 2. Click on Choose a Sprite option. A Sprite library will open. Step 3. In the Search box, you can type Ladybug. All the Sprite's options related to Ladybug will appear. Step 4. Add two sprites, Ladybug 1 and Ladybug 2 to the project. Step 5. Position the two sprites on the stage as shown. Step 6. Click Ladybug 1 and Ladybug 2 sprites and in the scripts area and create the stack of blocks as shown. Step 7. Click the green flag button to execute the project. The ladybugs move around the stage. Step 8. Click the stop button to stop the project. Understanding the stage. The background of the stage is called the backdrop. By default, the stage has a white backdrop. You can add new backdrops for the stage using the Choose a Backdrop button in the Backdrop pane. The Backdrop pane is located at the bottom right side of the Scratch window. The various options for adding a backdrop to the stage are Choose a Backdrop. This option lets you choose a sprite from the library of backdrops in built-in Scratch. 
the backdrops are grouped under categories such as outdoors, indoors, sports, etc. Click any backdrop from the library and it is added to the stage. Paint. This option lets you draw new a backdrop using the paint editor. The drawn backdrop is added to the stage. Surprise. This option adds a random backdrop from the backdrop library to the stage. Upload backdrop. This option lets you upload a picture file from your computer as a new backdrop. When clicked, it opens the open dialog box that lets you choose an image to upload. The uploaded image gets added to the stage as a backdrop. Let us change the backdrop of the stage and program a sprite. Step 1. Create a new project. Step 2. In the backdrop pane, click the Choose a Backdrop button. Step 3. From the backdrop library under Outdoors category, click on the Jurassic backdrop. Step 4. Delete the cat sprite. Step 5. Click the Choose a Sprite button and add the Dinosaur 1 sprite from the sprite library. Step 6. In the scripts area, create the stack of blocks as shown in the image. Step 7. Execute the project by clicking on the green flag button. The sample images for the project are given below. Understanding the blocks. Blocks are interlocking pieces that are used to create code in Scratch. Let us learn more about blocks in Scratch. Motion blocks. The motion blocks are used to move and turn the sprite in different directions. These blocks are blue colored. Some of the motion blocks are motion blocks, use. Move 10 steps moves the sprite forward by the specified amount of steps. Turn 15 degrees turns the sprite by specified angle in clockwise direction. Turn 15 degrees turns the sprite by specified angle in anti-clockwise direction. Point in direction 90 sets the directions of the sprite. Go to random position moves the sprite to the mouse pointer, a random position or another sprite. Go to X, 0, Y, 0. Moves the sprite to the specified X and Y position. Set rotation style, left, right. Controls direction in which a sprite can rotate in. There are three rotation on styles. All around, left, right and don't rotate. Glide 1 seconds to X. 0, Y, 0. Moves the sprite smoothly to the specified X and Y coordinates over a specified time. Looks block. Looks block are purple colored and used to control the visual look of the sprite. Some of the blocks are Looks blocks Use Say hello for two seconds Displays a speech bubble above the selected sprite for a specified time. Think hmm for two seconds Displays a thought bubble above the selected sprite for a specified time. Switch costume to 
Costume 1 changes the costume of a sprite to a specified costume. Next costume. Switch to the next costume in the sprite's costume list. Change color. Effect by 25. Changes the graphic effect of the sprite. Change size. Try 10. Changes the sprite's size by the specified unit. Show shows the sprite. Hide hides the sprite. Example Let us use various blocks to change the appearance of the sprite while it is moving. Step 1. Create a new project. Step 2. In the scripts area, create the stack of blocks as shown in the image. Step 3. Click on the green flag button to execute the project. The sprite glides around the stage and changes its size and color. Some images of the project are given below. Events block. The blocks in the events category are yellow colored. These blocks are used to control the events. Some of the blocks are Events blocks Use When clicked When the flag is clicked, the code runs. When space key pressed On pressing specified key from the list, the code runs. When this sprite clicked when the sprite is clicked, the code runs. Example Let us create a project to move the sprite on the stage using the arrow keys on the keyboard. Step 1. Create a new project. Step 2. In the scripts area, create the stack of blocks as shown in the image. Step 3. Press the right and left arrow keys to execute the project. Step 4. Also press the left and right arrow keys to make the cat move left or right on the stage. As the sprite moves, it changes its color also. Some images of the project are given below. Making a project let us now combine our knowledge of the sprite, blocks and backdrop to create a project of a birthday party. Step 1. Create a new project and delete the cat sprite. Step 2. In the backdrop pane, click the choose a backdrop button and add the party backdrop from the indoors category. Step 3. Click on Choose a Sprite button and add Abby and Devin Sprites under the People category and Cake, Party Hats and Gift Sprites under All category. Step 4. Change the direction of Devin Sprite by typing minus 90 in the direction box and click left, right, arrow button in the sprite info pane. Step 5. In the scripts area, create the stack of blocks for Abby and Devin sprites as shown in the image. Step 6. Click the green flag button to execute the project. Some sample images of the project are given below.